Initially, these pieces were meant not for the wall. The, the first one I made, you know, was right in the middle of the studio, hung from the ceiling. We were able to hang it in such a way that it had this cultural feel. You could go around them. What I'm trying to do now is to create them in such a way that you don't need to put them in the, in the on the wall. I made them thick and heavy, you know, so that they can stand on their own, run on the or, you know, just do anything. So it's a new direction that I'm trying to uh, work with. First thing is that you're dealing with loose bottle caps, cutting them and opening them up. Then the next stage would be to kind of stitching them together to kind of make a, a small block. So you do several of them, and it's enough for you to be able to make a composition that is large enough for Rick to have the capacity to flex and still have some presence. And that is a stage which is uh, more spontaneous. One really has to uh, be satisfied that what he has arranged on the floor is uh, effective enough. When you look at most of the works on a display, something is getting less and less, the color. Color is getting less and less in them. And I'm trying to focus on some other things beyond color. When you have color, then form is in contention with color. But we, when you take color out, and allow them form, takes uh, get priority position. Well, if New York is regarded as uh, art capital of the world, then it's a great thing to be in the art capital, to be in uh, shows that are open to the general public.